have you seen this style of eye makeup? It's the lifted eye trend and I've mostly seen Russian makeup artists do this kind of makeup. I've also observed a lot of them use a tape to pull the sides of the hairline so the eye looks more elongated. And today we will try this trend without the tape. So if you're ready, let's begin. <music> While this eye makeup gives that lifted effect, it almost looks like your eyes has tilted by lifting the outer corner and dipping the inner corner. So I'll be extending both my outer as well as inner corners. But before I do that, I want to prep the skin in the inner corner of my eye. Now my lashes go all the way to my inner corner. So I have inner corner hair. So if I apply eyeliner over that, it'll look distorted. So to remove that hair and to smooth out the skin, I use the Finishing Touch Flawless Brow Hair Remover. Now, if you obviously cannot wax or use a razor in the inner corner, it's such a sensitive area and this feels like nothing. It removes the hair without any pain. In fact, you cannot feel anything. Just turn it on. There's only one on off button and use it. And within seconds, your hair is gone and my skin feels really smooth now. Using the spoolie in the back of precisely my brow from Benefit, I'm going to push my brow hair upwards and outwards. Again, we want to get that lifted effect. Today I am going to be showing you my brow routine because it's a little different for this one. And then again I'm going to brush it with the Alme Brow Styler. This is going to hold the brows in place. It's like a brow gel. And then using the Precisely My Brow Pencil, it's in the shade 4.5. I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas. And then to clean up underneath the brows, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer. Again, this is in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin tone. I'm going to be cleaning up underneath my brows as well as using this on my lid as a primer and a base for the eyeshadows. What I'm going to be creating today is a very delicate eye makeup look. But again, we will do the elongated lifted look, but with neutral colors so you can use it with any outfit. I'm going to lightly set this base with a translucent powder just to prevent the concealer from creasing. And the one that I'll be using today is Laura Mercier. For this eye makeup, I'm going to start with a wing. I'm going to pull it upward and outward, almost like if I had a tape pulling my hairline. I'm going to do this by placing a dot where my two lash lines meet in the very outer corner. And for this, I'm using a black eye pencil by Give Beauty. I'm going to simply place a dot in the very outer corner and using my finger, I'm going to pull it upward and outward toward my hairline. And then I'm going to start shading this in the very outer corner towards my lid before I use my finger to smudge and diffuse this. This eye pencil blends beautifully, so try to use something that's a cool kajal or something that's very blendable. You can also use a gel liner. And then I'm going to use a clean sponge tip applicator to further help blend that outward and upward to get that lift. We've set a good tone for the eyeshadow look and now I'm going to be using a couple more eyeshadows and then we'll be done. I'm going to be using the Huda Nude palette today. This palette is absolutely stunning and I'm going to start with the shade called Raw. It's a matte peach eyeshadow. Again, I'm using the sponge tip applicator, so I'm going to load that up and I'm going to go in the direction of the wing. So I'm going to hold the sponge tip applicator diagonal and I'm going to drag it all the way from the top towards the lash line. And I'm going to quickly diffuse that with my finger. These eyeshadows are like butter. They blend in so quickly. That eyeshadow is absolutely stunning. I love how delicate it is. Next, I'm going to be using the shade Bare. It's an ivory shade. Again, with my sponge tip applicator, I'm going to be using it to highlight my inner corner. And then I'm going to again blend it out with my finger. Next, with a flat definer brush, I'm going to use some black eyeshadow throughout my lower lash line. I'm just stamping it just below my lashes. I'm also going to take it all the way to the outer corner, connecting it to the top lash line. And then I'm going to use raw again over the black eyeshadow to diffuse and soften it. The final step is to use eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Inglot gel liner. You can use even a liquid liner or whatever you have. And the brush that I'm using is actually a nail art brush. I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line. If you don't have hooded eyes, you can also do a larger wing. But because we already have a soft wing in the outer corner, even a small wing looks fantastic. And then for the inner corner wing, I'm going to very lightly pull my skin so it's tight in there and it's very easy to extend it. And then I'm going to pull out a small wing extending my inner corner. 
And now because there's no hair in the inner corner, it's so smooth and it gets done so quick. I'm going to lightly smudge the wing in the very outer corner so it blends in with the smoky wing that we've created. And then I'm using the Give Beauty eyeliner again to tight line before I use a little bit more black eyeshadow to thicken up the lower lash line. That is looking absolutely stunning and you can see how it almost looks like my inner corner is dipped and my outer corner is lifted and my eyes are almost tilted and elongated giving that lift in the outer corner. And for that reason when I'm curling my lashes I'm going to lift it in the outer corner as well before I use mascara. For mascara I'm going to be using the Jane Iredale Longest Lash Thickening and Lengthening Mascara. And for lashes, I purposely chose Tati Lashes in TL21 because as you can see, it wings out and there's more volume in the outer corner, again, giving that lift. And then I'm going to use some mascara once again to join my natural lashes to the false lashes. I'm using the back of a brush for support. And then I'm going to use that ivory shade again to highlight my brow bones before I call it done on the eye makeup. And here is the finished look. I always like to compare the before with the after. So let's look at the before again. And here is the after, the eye makeup. Makeup is illusion, almost like magic. And I think this has created a beautiful illusion of that elongated eye. I'm going to pair this with a beautiful nude lip, starting with the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in Bangin Brunette. I demoed this in one of the previous videos. I love using an ultra fine tip brow pencil as a lip liner because they don't bleed. And for lipstick, I'm using a brand new one from Ofra Cosmetics. It's their collaboration with La Dura. It's the Lip Duo. So I'm going to first use the lipstick in Naked. And then I'm going to use the lip gloss in Glam. Last but not least, this is an important step. I'm taking a little bit of contour. This is from Westman Atelier. It's their face contour stick. Absolutely love this. I'm taking it with an angled brush and I'm going to dab it. Again, we are going upward and outward towards the hairline, creating that shadow to give that lifted effect. I must have said that like a zillion times. Okay, how cute is my hairstyle? I wanted to try something new. Let me know if you like it. And here is the finished look. I feel this is so different and unique and I truly enjoyed creating this look. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you plan to recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. And I've also listed all the products that I used in today's tutorial. You just have to click on the view products link in this video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to watch more videos like this. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys!